Okay, so I came here to tell you that I want to make an app and I want to take you with me. This is the first video in the series of documenting the app and the whole thing around it. And the goal of this app is not just to be demonstrative. It is a big one, but not the main one. The main one is to document the whole process from the idea phase to hopefully getting around a hundred dollars because yes, I want to monetize it somehow. The thing is, I don't want to count my hours that I put in YouTube monetization. I don't want to count anything that is not Google play revenue from AdSense or maybe donations from people or not really donations like they pay so don't, they don't see ads. We'll see. The idea I have is pretty simple. I call it the wheel of chores. My wife and I are using this kind of thing and we're using wheel of names. It's an app. Let me show you. So it's uh, like this. You put your chores here in our case and you spin it as a roulette. And what comes here, you will do. Okay. So the idea is quite simple. I have some ideas here because this is the first video I'm doing not scripted uh, and it's quite hard for me. So let's see. Um, so yeah, I want to get to $100 uh, in revenue. I don't know if that's feasible, but we'll see. I'm still going to get you with me here. Why is this useful? Well, I often find myself in a deadlock while I try to do stuff, not just stuff around the house. Uh, generally, if it's not work related, like my actual job, I get deadlocked a lot. So um, I think this is because uh, I cannot prioritize stuff outside work. And this approach helps me at least a lot because I don't have to decide what is important. I just get a will to tell me what I should do right now. And more often than not, I end up doing like 15 tasks a day if I do it the whole, uh, like properly and uh, in the bad days when I still have to do stuff but I'm not in the mood to do anything I will do at least five and uh, that's more than zero in my books and I am making this video in blind because I have no idea what I'm going to be using I don't know uh, how it's gonna be looking I don't know anything about the app I'm just gonna decide from now on so this was the introduction and now let me tell you what I did so far because this will be log number zero. And yes, I am doing the counting from zero thing that the C programming language book did. I know it's a bit cringy. Uh, I consider it cringy myself, but who cares? So first decision I took so far, get the app documented on YouTube, like what we're doing right now. Hello. If you like this idea, leave it a like. And probably I will have everything open sourced on GitHub. Okay, I said it, it's decided. Everything will be open sourced on GitHub. I will make a repository that you can star right here, I would say. So you know uh, if there are any updates in that regard. I have no idea if I'm gonna be using Flutter or Swift because I'm low key into Swift right now and um, I'm quite curious if I can do this app without any prior experience. In my free time, I'm learning a bit of Swift and uh, Swift UI actually, because I'm not gonna go into UI kit for now. It's quite legacy in my opinion right now. So yeah, sticking with Swift UI. Uh, and I am a very, very bad at design. So my whole life I tried to learn Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects and Premiere Pro. And I know how to use these programs really well, but that has nothing to do with being creative, being good at design, knowing how to design something. And um, that's where I lacked a lot. Therefore, I decided to hire someone on Fiverr. I already paid the guy 205 dollars for three screens we're, we're gonna see so i told you about the app the app will have the wheel of chores itself you will be able to organize the chores but this is something for the log 
one because I'm not gonna be making the log one until I get the designs and today is uh, Sunday and I'll have the designs by today as the guy said uh, I'm gonna be posting my conversation I'll see if it's legal but if not I'm just gonna be paraphrasing it so it's fine and uh, once I have the design uh, I'll try to have my reaction on camera when I see the designs and see from there and I said I want to do it in Swift or Flutter. And if I do it in Swift, it will mean that I do not plan on going to the Android market with it. And for now, I'm pretty conflicted. This is something I would like comments on. I know this is not a huge community so far, but uh, any ideas or points will be noted. Please don't just say use Flutter or use Swift. Please tell me why. Because so far I do not consider Android market to be uh, a priority. And I could make this app in Swift, learn Swift together in some way, and then make it in Kotlin. And I actually know Android SDK with Kotlin or Java, whatever, because I used this long ago. And I don't think anything changed in the meantime and also swift ui is uh kind of easy but the main concern with uh, using Flutter for this is that uh, i want to have widgets on the home screen as well ios just introduced interactable widgets and i want to use those as well because you can have your wheel of chores on your home screen like this thing so yeah um tell me what you think Again, start the GitHub uh, repo, start, uh, start this video by giving it, giving it a like. And if you want to stay updated with this, I plan on doing these kind of videos once a week or once every two weeks. Get subscribed to see what's going on. Thanks for tuning in with me today. Um, leave your ideas and thoughts in the comment section because now more than ever I need some ideas. Bye.